and welcome to The Doe Show for Monday, April 16th, 2018. I'm Ferris Fair. And I'm Bambi Dextrous. And we have another really packed show for you today. Uh, talking about the shows that we filmed this weekend, as well as what we have coming up for you next weekend. Uh, on Friday at Evolution Wonder Lounge, we were front row for Alberta's Next Drag Superstar Edmonton Semi Finals. Semi-finals. Oh, what a show. Uh, we had such a great time. Thank you so much to Evolution for our, for our reserved table. That was wonderful. Uh, we had a good time sitting beside the judges. Big Daddy and I were uh, on quite a roller coaster all night. Oh, and also, speaking of judges, really quickly, Plastica was selected to be a special guest judge. That was such an amazing twist. Oh. That was such an amazing twist. I, I was, honestly, I was very tempted to get up there and answer the question, but, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would have, my seat was already you. pretty good. <laughs> uh, I figured we had a, other jobs to do. It's true. So. <laughs> and, and you all knew I was going to be judging anyway. Uh, anyway, uh, what were your thoughts on Anne's? What, uh, what were your picks? What did you oh like? my goodness, it was such a good show, but there were a couple of standout performances. Uh, first and foremost was Cat Marlowe Menora. That routine girl um, is a standout performance, very emotional. This guy may have cried, shed a tear. I told um, her that already. Yeah, okay. and, and that reveal was absolutely everything. Yes. Uh, and talking to you, you said that, you know, it had been a process to get it down. And, oh, it was so worth it. It was just, it was perfection. Perfection! You'd never tell her it was a process to get it, because it seemed uh, like a flawless reveal. Yeah. Well, it was, as she was saying, like, her and Ruby worked together for ages trying to figure out exactly how to do it so that they could do it so effortlessly uh, kind of thing. Like it took a while to, to make sure that they got it together. But yeah, they worked hard and oh, oh the so payoff amazing. was there. The payoff was there. It was a fantastic number and, and congrats on going through. Uh, who is one of your top picks of the week? Uh, well, honestly, uh, the person that I voted for that evening was, was Go Go Fetch. Um, Kat was very close, very close. I almost voted for Kat, but uh, Go Go was the one that I actually voted for. I, I thought it was probably the best fully re realized routine I've ever seen Go Go do. Um, it was it was a great uh, set music wise and prop wise and yeah it was it was a production. It was wonderful. It was it was Very so well done and 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 your backup uh, people were were a good addition to the thing. They didn't steal the spotlight they didn't anyway. Yeah. It, they were great. The focus was always on you, as it should be. Mm -hmm. So yes, congratulations, Gogo, on going through too. I was I was very happy about that. Uh, speaking of going through, one of the people I'm very happy for going through and actually had my support mm -hmm. all, you know, from the beginning was Ivy League when she came out with the curtain and mm -hmm. then the bowl of liquid there. Mm -hmm. Girl, it was just really, really good. I believe the science queen. Yes. Careful, careful, seance. She's coming for your gig. Uh, speaking of science, I also have to throw this in there about Loris the Mary Virgin, her Dana Scully uh. alien probe. Uh, and oh my god, you have to watch the video. Uh, if you watch carefully, the table is leaning, 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 leaning. And then as she's getting off the table, it collapses behind her. Like, it was almost... Yeah, it was it was horrifying to watch. Uh, it, it but yeah, could have gone badly. It could have been it could have gone very badly. Good. Next time, make uh, when you've got people out there, make sure you check those tables are set up properly. <laughs> Lourdes, you're a wrestling fan. You should have known better. <laughs> um, the other ones that we have to talk about, of course, was uh, that fourth spot that made it through to the finale. Uh, it was John Benet Ramsey and Pheromone Kills did a lip sync for your life uh, to express yourself. Was that express yes, express yourself. yourself. <laughs> uh, and it was it was great. Uh, Pheromone absolutely rocked it. Uh, JBR had a good time out there too. Did some of his classics. Yeah, it was good. And uh, it was actually Pheromone that made it through. So congratulations to our final four contestants. Edmonton. Yes, for the <laughs> finale for Alberta's Next Drag Superstar on May the 4th at Evolution Wonder Lounge. You know we're going to be there and we cannot wait. <sighs> that was a night. However, that was just the start of this weekend. Saturday night Saturday at night. Evolution Wonder Lounge, Manila Luzon's wedding tour was in town. And oh, <laughs> she was just flawless. She was just, she just, she looked amazing. Um, her, her, 
skill work on the mic was wonderful. Uh, her numbers were great. Apparently, uh, I was talking to, to Murray and Scott, and they were saying that she changed it all up when she got there, when she got to meet them and met Pablo and decided she wanted to come and join him on stage, and it was all just... So yeah. was that planned, Pablo performing? Was that planned I believe he might have been doing some performances as well kind of thing. Yeah, that was the plan to give away some of the Andrew Christian stuff and stuff like that. But she decided she was going to come out and join him in number and, okay. and all that kind I of stuff. I watched that in the video. Yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah, that no, was that was, planned. well, yeah, no, that was totally, it was her idea though. Like that wasn't, anyway, so she was, she couldn't have been better to work with uh, from what I've heard. So uh, I really hope that, you know, uh, she might be able to come back again sometime because I thought I thought she did a tremendous job and, and super sweet when I met her backstage and everything else. Um, but I would be remiss if I did not mention the videos that are on our channel from um, the opening acts from from that show because yet again our local girls banged it the fuck out. And they um, always impress. When they always do. RuPaul they always do. <laughs> they they step their pussies up when the when the when the RuPaul queens are in town and it, it, it's always. Very, very often I feel that the queens do a better job <clears throat> than, than some of the headliners. But anyway, uh, not necessarily this time. I love Manila. But the, the, the people that uh, opened this time, and it was just amazing. The Queens of the Orient came out and did Hush Hush, and it was so good. Uh, all three of them took a turn out front, and uh, it, was, it was a wonderful classic Queens of the Orient 2.0 number. Uh, Pheromone Kills came out and did uh, Malumbo number one, I think it's yeah. called. Uh, the one where she leaves the dress and walks away and performs and then snaps. Oh, love that. Yeah. Uh, such a good number, and the crowd ate it up. Um, they, uh, they switched it up a little bit and did a couple of the opening acts before Manila's first number and then they came back and they did a couple more of the opening acts before um, her second number and in the second half, um, Roselle Christina did a solo. Um, I called it Amaya Queen. Um, I have my reasons. Tell us. Uh, well, <laughs> it's, uh, it includes the song Time Bomb, which was an Amaya King song that she did a couple of times, I think. And, um, and if I'm not mistaken, the outfit Roselle was wearing was a repurposed Amaya King outfit from that very number as well. Yeah. So anyway, I called it Amaya Queen, but it was a wonderful, gorgeous number from yeah. Roselle Christina and uh, Venus and, and Time Bomber in that. So yeah, it's, it's it such a, a good, good number. It was a good throwback to it was. all the Maya King who we miss but and love dearly. We do, we do. But for the very few of us that caught that, that was really cute. Uh, anyway, uh, the other one that I cannot, cannot forget to talk about is Melinda Verga. That bitch rocked that out. That the the the, the crowd went insane. I, I don't I, I barely heard pops like that when when RuPaul queens were here. So congratulations, girl. You told me at the end after the death drop, you just laid there and soaked it in for a couple of seconds, and I don't blame you at all because like it was it was an amazing amazing routine and uh, beyond proud of you. Um, this is early. I'm saying it now. You're my pick of the week. It was it was fantastic, fantastic. Oh, and as we I said backstage, as we said backstage, honestly, it was just a standard Melinda Verrick number. But it was so good in that energy and that vibe and that. That is high praise. Yes, love it. Anyway, take it to Sunday. Uh, you yeah. take it to Sunday. Uh, Sunday, we've got a couple of things to talk about. Did anything uh, go on so specific on Sunday we should talk about? Well, in the morning, there there was the brunch show. Mm -hmm. Queen's Brunch. Yes. At Match Eatery and Public House. Well, that was a fun energy there. Um, it's always great to be in a new venue because you can try new things. And I definitely tried some new things with my dark side number. Mm -hmm. And it was just a really interesting uh, energy in the room because there was... A bunch of drag virgins there who'd never been to a show. Including Sister Mary Clarence's mother. Uh, yes. So oh, sweet that I she was the there. <laughs> so sweet that she was there. You met Mary. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, yes, wonderful. And uh, like Sister Mary performed Call Me Mother. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, yeah, uh, Godiva was in that show, did an amazing job. Godiva knows how to work a room. Um, lay away, did lay away oh. anything. <laughs> lay away. She climbed up on this. Oh, oh, she was on the bar. Like, oh my god, girl. Uh, you were, you blew me away that day. I mean, I always love the numbers you do, but both that and T for two. Uh, rain, uh, don't rain in my parade and T for two. They were both yeah. fabulous. Again, you know how to work a room. And Carrie DeWay was in the show. Great job. And Carrie and I were backstage and she said, 
what the F, Bambi, we're both in drag at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> right? It's true. It doesn't happen very often. Uh, and then Dixon and Cunts was in that show too, and it was great to see a king in that venue, because again, I, I don't think a lot of people in that room would necessarily even knew that existed. So, uh, <laughs> uh, it was also a fundraiser for the Imperial Sovereign Court of the Wild Rose, and they happen every month, the Queen's Brunch, so uh, check them out on Facebook. You should totally check them out. Yes. Um, we also, last night, were at Andrew's Bloody Fetish Ball. Uh, it was the Sunday Review, hosted by Andrew Ginny. Uh, there was a bunch of uh, fabulous queens in that. Um, Christy Healy did an amazing number. So great to see you back on stage. Did something completely out of her zone, and it was, it was so well done. Uh, yeah, congrats, girl. Uh, I just want to chip in there. Uh, Dragging Our Heels videographer Sky was also in the audience. And that Chrissy Healy number was her favorite number of the night. Oh, there you go. Uh, Robin Starfish uh, was her birthday. She was there. Uh, Andrew dragged her up on stage, and she ended up doing her number and, and, and nailed it. So uh, congratulations, Robin. Um, happy birthday, Brayden. And uh, also, I, again, would be remiss if I did not talk about Loris the Merry Virgin because it was a, a yet another fantastic double performance. So, congratulations, Lourdes. Anyway, that was all the videos that are now up on Dragging Our Heels from last week. Coming up this week in Edmonton Drag, uh, Tuesday night um, at 7 o'clock at the Edmonton Inn and Conference Center, the Imperial Sovereign Court to the Wild Rose is having their uh, monthly general meeting. So if you have any interest in finding out more about that organization and all that they do for Edmonton drag and charities and stuff, then feel free to check that out. Hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, I just remembered I was crowned Queen of Hearts this week. Oh yeah! <laughs> Speaking of Imperial Sovereign Choir of the Wild Rose, the new co-Queen of Hearts. Um, all of a sudden my, my husband is in a um, polyamorous relationship. I'm not sure how I feel about all this, but we'll talk. <laughs> uh, so to those who don't know or are not caught up, uh, Rexy Resurrection, Queen of Hearts, and Colin Bay, King of Hearts, and I have been selected as co-Queen of Hearts this week as part of this reign of the ISCWR. Mm -hmm. So we are, all three of us, kings, queens, hearts, yes. everything. Uh, so, thank you to whoever did actually find those slips of paper and actually read them instead of just shredding them. Thank you. <laughs> On Thursday, we're going to make sure we head down to Evolution Wonder Lounge for the RuPaul's Drag Race viewing party for Season 10. Should be a lot of fun! We're there most weeks. We weren't able to make it last week, but we're hoping to be there again this week. Uh, we will be at Evolution on Friday and Saturday night for the Class and Sass Productions are presenting their latest cabaret, the Behind Bars Cabaret. Um, it's going to be a fabulous evening of burlesque and drag and performance mm -hmm. and comedy and dance and hosted by Lilith Fair. You may have heard of her. Um, we have a great time every time they put on a show. And, and yes. Uh, yes, anyway, so we, have, we were honored that they asked us to be there to film, so we are super excited to be there. Very um, excited to be there. I will be there with camera to film the class of sass. That's right. I'll be there Friday and I think you're there Saturday because I'm working. Uh, but yes, it's going to be a fantastic time. So uh, tickets are sold out, I think, for both shows, but double check because there, there, might, might, be, be there might be some two. tickets for the Friday, but it was go uh, nine was the last number I heard and that was days ago. Oh so goodness. anyway. Um, also on Saturday, uh, earlier in the day, there's an all-ages show. The Dragging Youth series is putting on their monthly show. Uh, this one is Dragging Spring. And you'll uh, be attending that one. I will. I will be there to film, of course, at the Unitarian Church of Edmonton. Uh, five o'clock doors, I think. Six o'clock showtime. Um, yeah. Usually done by about eight o'clock and stuff. But yeah, it's a, it's a really good time. All-ages show. Um, if you are curious at all about drag and have never been to a show, this is a good place to go and, and test it out. Everything's kind of more family friendly and... Um, it's true, it's true. Uh, money goes to charity. Every one month, uh, every month there's a charity that the show donates to. I believe this money is still going to Queer Prom for this month. It was last month and okay. I believe it is this month too, but I'm not 100% sure. But there's a, yes, always a, a worthy youth initiative that the money goes mm -hmm. to. So um, yeah, make sure you're checking that out next Saturday. Um, and what's on next Sunday? Well. Evolution Wonder Lounge 
has their usual Sunday review. And this uh, week is Science Fair. Seance Fair. Her birthday show. Yeah. So happy birthday, sis. Um, and uh, it's going to be a good show. She's got Vula Callas, Kat Marlowe, JonBenet Ramsey, Ivy Lee, Christy Healy. That's pretty good. So yeah, uh, it's going to be a great show. So we will be there. Um, I I assume Lilith will be there too. I don't think mm. she's performing or anything. But uh, yeah, I she just wrapped up in Calgary. So she did. She, she just wrapped up her when successful is she run back in Edmonton. Uh, honestly, I think she's like here any day. It's um, not like I get a phone call. Literal and science will know she's in town. We'll contact them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, that's more than enough drag for us this week. Um, thank you so much for watching. Check out all those videos on our channel. Um, yeah. If you see us out this week, come by. Say hi. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Okay, it's going to be a long one.